the, the, the critical thing about the boomerang chair is that it, it crystallizes this moment in American history. The boomerang was intended for the defense workers who were living in a, in a complete uh, Neutra project that he designed in 1942. It was built very quickly, and there's a sense of can do, there's a sense of optimism, but there's a sense of urgency in the war. And at the same time, um, Neutra wanted to give people a little bit of fun and something that was a little bit more playful and not so earnestly serious. Neutra wanted to make sure that this chair was available to every socioeconomic class. And so apart from the defense workers of Channel Heights, he also made sure that somehow it got into the pages of not the architectural forum, but into Women's Day magazine. Women's Day magazine is, as I'm sure you'll agree, not exactly the native habitat of avant-garde architecture. The Women's Day magazine editors basically asked Neutra to not only give them ideas for designs, but to give them a how-to, basically a recipe for how to build your own boomerang chair. Women's Day Magazine called Neutra America's foremost interior decorator, which I thought was fantastic. My name is Barbara Lamprecht, and I'm an architectural historian and a scholar of the work of Richard Neutra.